G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, non-fungible tokens, going parabolic. Uh, and Morgan Creek execs are getting in, so uh, Pomp and Mark Williams uh, getting into non-fungible tokens. They are sort of all the rage at the moment, so digital art uh, particularly uh, is doing quite well and skyrocketing. So we have a look at here. Major players in the crypto community are betting big on digital art non-fungible tokens surpassing the physical art market. That would be something if it were to do that. According to a September 21st tweet from uh, Masari analysis Mason Nystrom, sales of non-fungible tokens marketplace Rarible passed 5 million in September with a volume of 5,309 of its uh, Rari governance token traded. Masari reported that 1.5 million of this new volume came on a single day on September the 14th. In addition, the super rare non-fungible marketplace has grown at an impressive rate this year, according to Nystrom. This activity has caught the attention of investors seeing the potential of NFTs, which can be used to give token holders ownership of digital art, collectible trading cards and more. Morgan Creek Digital co-founders Anthony Pompliano and Jason Williams have reportedly made a big bet by partnering with a number of digital artists. Similar to how Bitcoin is superior to gold in almost every way, digital art is superior to traditional art in almost every way also, Pompliano said in his newsletter. This transition to a digital world is not a question of will it happen, but rather when. I personally believe that the digital art market cap will grow to become larger than the physical market cap. Well, that'd be interesting and we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, who knows. The Morgan Creek exec stated that the traditional art market had a market cap of roughly $65 billion for the last few years and outperformed the S&P 500 by over 180%. Pompliano said he was confident he would see a 6,000 increase in digital art market cap, which he estimated at currently less than $10 million. Well, there you go. So art has been outperforming the S&P 500 uh, for a little while now by 180%. That's pretty good. Uh, and Pompliano, he definitely knows a thing or two. A 6,000x increase, that is, yeah. Obviously, if you're into non-fungible tokens and art and that, <laughs> might be a good idea to get out and get some. I personally don't have any at the moment. I haven't got into it. I don't really know enough about it i mean it's digital art you know and it's like trading cards and all the rest of it but they're personalized and digitalized and they have their own unique sort of code to them and things like that i understand that but yeah just i guess art's not really my thing uh, it's not to say it wouldn't be anyone else's but i'm into anything that can make money and now that i know art has gone up over 180 uh, percent on top of the s p 500 i'm a lot more interested in it and particularly if uh you know there's I would say the 6,000x increase is probably, you know, throwing a high number out there. But, you know, even if it only did, you know, a tenth of that, that would still be pretty good in all fairness. So non-fungible tokens, pretty big out there. I know some uh, were airdropped uh, the other day. Uh, and people were pretty happy with that. So, yeah, if that's up your alley, go and have a look. Another interesting article I found was 90% of institutional investors want to buy Bitcoin uh, due to regulation. All right. Bitcoin is growing. Adoption is growing and growing and growing. I know there was uh, some people who were concerned that there wasn't enough regulation and things like that, but there's so much regulation happening with cryptocurrencies at the moment that really people shouldn't worry too much about them unless you're getting into something that's completely new and risky and has no track record. I think if you're getting into things like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, you know, the ones that have been around for a while, I think you're fairly safe with those. But that's my personal opinion, not financial advice. You've got to do your own work and work it out for yourself. But they've been around for a while, kind of, you know, tried and tested. XRP as well, been around for a while, whether you believe in it or not. You know, they're, they're, those ones are kind of some of the safer ones. Uh, and, and they are the ones that were uh, granted uh, sort of a license to be held by banks. They will keep custody of them for you. So if banks are going to hold custody for them, chances are they're probably going to be around for a while. But anyway, something I want to have a look at at the market cap. So the market cap is down, $335 billion. So we really lost a lot. We're at $350 billion. So we dropped $15 billion right there. Now, Bitcoin is around that $10,400 mark. 
something interesting on the charts. We go over here, let's do a fib retracement. So we go from the low to the high. And have a look where this is. It's almost down to the uh, 0.618. So 0.618 is a bit of a golden zone for when there's a retracement where people like to sort of buy in. Or, you know, if it goes a little bit lower, I mean, generally they're going to have their... Uh, you know, betting against the market sort of here and they'll write it down to about the uh, 6.18 yeah, if they're betting against the market but if then they might change it to betting on the market and generally the 0.6.1 uh, is a, a bit of a bounce uh, kind of position. So if you think, you know, this is the whole retracement, it's done and we're going to go long, uh, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, we are sitting above it at the moment but we have basically sort of come down here and sort of wicked off it. So... Very interesting, you know, we'll have to wait and see. What I am sort of noticing though, is we do have a bit of a sort of downward. We're starting to make lower lows. So I'm not going to be surprised if we don't come down and bounce off this greater trend line. I'm still not bearish, but we had such a bull run. Remember, we came all the way from here and pumped all the way to there. Of course, there's gonna be a retracement. So let's do another fib retracement from here. to here at the moment, have a look at that, 0.618. Maybe this is as far as it goes. But I mean, we did dip below it, we come down uh, below it, but currently we're at about that kind of 6.18, thereabouts. So we'll just have to wait and see. But you know, when you get things like that, it's not going to be, sorry, just try and get rid of that. Remove. Move. Yeah, this this was a massive pump, and again, you know, it wasn't the only one. <laughs> We've pumped all the way to here before we had a reasonable retracement. I mean, you know, little retracements here and there, but that's a massive move and a retracement. And then we traded sideways, a massive move, traded sideways. Then we got the retracement. So yeah, I wouldn't be too, you know, blown out of the water to see this come back and bounce off here. That's not to say it will. Maybe, again, this is roughly sitting at that 0.618. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is as far as we've pulled back. But we'll just have to wait and see. But at the moment, we have been setting uh, lower highs for sure. But in the grand scheme of things, the lows are still getting higher as well. Obviously, you know, these were a little bit higher and it pulled off. But then, this is still on an upward trend, ladies and gentlemen. I still believe we're in a bull market. This is just a natural, healthy, you know, retracement. This is what happens in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Pretty heavy for traditional investors, you know, they're not used to that. But you can't have these massive gains if you don't have massive pullbacks. That's just the way it works. Anyway, I'm not going to take too much more of your time. Hopefully you're doing well. Sorry for the late, uh, the late vlog that I've done this time. I only just knocked off work and it's uh, about 1am here in uh, Australia. So I work till midnight. Uh, that's just the way it goes. I do these uh, when I can and I do it for the fun. You know, I'm not getting paid anything to do these. So sometimes you might have to uh, just be ready to see these a little bit late. Anyway, uh, leave a like comment uh, down the bottom. Uh, let me know if you think we're going to bounce from here or do you think we're going lower and how low do you think we're, go we're going to go? Do you think we're going to come down and test this greater trend line? Do you think uh, the 0.618 is going to be where we're going to bounce off? Do you even think we're in a bull market or do you think this was all just a massive sort of fake out uh, and we are still in a bear market? All right, stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on you know, some gain trains there. There were definitely some gains to be made, but overall not too great. And I'll see you next time.